What is going on, Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to break down exactly what's happening in the market. And outside of that, I want to talk on technology, on how Lucid is still trying to innovate their technology and be ahead of the game. But before I get into any of that, you guys know the deal by now. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. But with that, let's get right to it. Live ticker is going at the very bottom, currently up 3.3%, 3.3 million for volume as well. 20.8 is the average and 387,000 shares being purchased by institutions on the secondary market so in general it is going to be a pretty heavy volume day uh, that's obviously within the first one hour of the trading day so again that's a good sign for lucid but when it comes down to it why are we going up and that is largely because of the technicals so we went down because of fear of what the fed said from the minutes so in general though it's a little bit more misinterpreted that's what a lot of articles are now coming out as saying that hypothetically we've gone down so much because of of basically nothing a lot of people misinterpreting a lot of the data so when it comes down to even in Lucid's case looking at stochastic we are very very oversold as is the rest of the market so in general that's why we're going up um, because it's just a little bit more of a value rally and I always call it value rally because a lot of stocks get to the point well below its intrinsic value on where it should be and so they're considered value so that's my own two cents on what is happening in the market of course it could continue to go down like I said Thursday and Friday are very big days for the stock market so hopefully uh, they do come out with good data enough so that we can continue this run but I want to go over some fun facts as well before I get into the technology front. So with the Sapphire, so Sapphire, as far as reservations, opened yesterday, which is a pretty big thing. So you see the tweet from Lucid Reservations for Lucid Air Sapphire are now open. Explore and reserve the world's most powerful super sports sedan. So in general, I think that's a very good thing that this is happening. And Lucid Insider, based on stock forms, already show that a couple of people are reserving the Sapphire already. So in general, I think that's going to be a good thing um, for Lucid, us as investors, based on the Q3 earnings. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit more clarity on exactly how many reservations were brought on by the Sapphire. So again, it's one of those things that a lot of people are a little bit more mixed on the Sapphire, obviously the price point. When I did do a video, a lot of people seem to be very interested in that, saying that it's so specifically niche and so powerful, the best of the best that everyone will hypothetically want that. So we'll just have to stay tuned until Q3 earnings to find out. But based on the stock form and based on Lucid Insider's blog, it does appear that it might be a pretty good success. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But when it comes down to the technology front, a lot of people and even myself, I have not really paid too much attention to the latest patents. But looking here, Lucid, obviously through the name of Ativia, technically has done a lot of patents. So they've been very, very active. So even just in this month alone, they have give or take around seven or eight. So that's definitely a very good thing. They're trying to innovate. So you can see which have been submitted as far as just an application and what has been actually granted approval. So in general, that's a very good thing the fact that Lucid is continuously filing patents to innovate. There's one thing that did stand out to me that I found very interesting, and it was submitted on March the 10th, 2022, presenting content on separate display devices in vehicle instrument panel. So I think that's a very, very interesting component. And I think this is going to increase the customer experience. And in case you guys haven't seen any patents before, there's a lot of legal jargon, um, because these have to be as specific as possible. And keep in mind, there's a lot of articles or ads I should say on this uh, so obviously I'm not supporting Lululemon or anything like that but still um, obviously it goes based on step by step of exactly how they're intending on having this uh, patent work out to prevent any future patent infringement scenarios or anything like that so but on a side note, I just wanted to point this one out because this one stood out to me and I think this is the next level up. This is going to make the customer experience inside the vehicle very, very exciting, especially if you can actually present content. So it doesn't necessarily bring up as far as the Apple CarPlay or any specifics on here, it just says presenting content. So that's very vague. But in general, though, it could be a very big thing because keep in mind that was initially one of the biggest uh, concerns about Lucid is that the fact that their displays are make the driver very comfortable and things like that. But as far as entertainment, there's very little in that. So I think this is going to be a very big thing. And that's how I interpret presenting content. So that's my own two cents on all that. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor or anything, just a very big Lucid fan. So in general, I think this is a very big thing that 
but hopefully a lot of these will be established going into the future Lucid Air products and hopefully even in more so the gravity. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But Based on the technicals, I think today is going to be a very good day. Like I said, very, very oversold, and it has been that. Momentum number of buyers is definitely going up there as well. Just to give you a quick update while I'm here on short information, so I'm on Ortex as well. It is currently up, so 614,000 shares. So despite us going up and rallying, shorts are very hesitant. So they are still increasing the position, but still, it is what it is. There has to be some losers in the game, and eventually, shorts are going to lose a lot of money on lucid we just need a little bit more establishment and we just need things to go right for lucid like i said the sapphire is a very big catalyst has amazing technology and stats but still at the end it just unfortunately the broader market just what's going down so it's another one of those scenarios where lucid had good news bad timing so let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below if you haven't already don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe which is always greatly appreciated also give yourself a shout out if you have been buying during this dip because i know it is very scary when lucid does dip but obviously looking back in time when we dip we usually do recover fairly fast so again it's one of those things take advantage of these dips if you can especially long term i can't see us being anywhere close to this price long term so i think this is a different mentality that you guys need to have take advantage of these dips um, that's my own two cents on all of that but with all that i appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on lucid